once again hearty welcome to the math revision made meticulous video series topic continuity and differentiability at this video you will see derivative of functions in parametric form revision as the name suggest means looking back over previous learned information ensuring that it is clear and fresh in the mind five questions per video from selected topic is presented at this video series the steps in answers are supported by the ideas used for getting the answers before we see what is a parametric uh, differentiation let us uh, look after the rules of derivatives if u and v are two real functions this is the formula when uh, two functions are added up u plus r minus v the whole dash is u dash plus r minus v dash this formula is called product rule u into v dash is u v dash plus v into u dash keep the first differentiate the second keep the second differentiate the first this is the quotient rule u by v the whole dash is v into u dash minus u into v dash by v square denominator square denominator into differentiation of the numerator minus numerator into differentiation of the denominator let us look back the formula of differentiation very quickly if uh, for x power n it is n into x power n minus 1 for root x it is 1 by 2 root x e power x e power x a power x a power x log a log x 1 by x sin x cos x cos x minus sin x tan x secant square x cosecant x minus cosecant x cot x secant x secant x tan x cot x minus cosecant square x sin inverse x 1 upon root 1 minus x square cos inverse x minus 1 upon root 1 minus x square and tan inverse x 1 upon 1 plus x square let us see what do you mean by parametric form of a equation a function y is equal to f of x can be defined or expressed using a third variable the third variable establishes a relation between the first two the third variable is called the parameter the representation when a function y of x is represented through a third variable which is known as the parameter is called the parametric form let us take some example now a relation between x and y can be expressible in the form x is equal to f of t and y is equal to g of t here you are seeing that x and y are expressed in the same of the same variable in terms of the same variable is a parametric form representation with the parameter as t the equation x is equal to cos t and y is equal to sin t is a parametric representation of the unit circle x square plus y square is equal to 1 this is one of the example where x square plus y square is equal to 1 can be expressed in parametric form all of you know that when you substitute that x and y in this equation the equation is getting satisfied similarly the equation x is equal to 80 square y is equal to 280 is the parametric representation of the parabola y square is equal to 4ax when you replace y by 280 and x by 80 square the equation is getting satisfied let us try to know about the derivative of the functions in parametric form as the both the functions are defined in parametric form we cannot find dy by dx directly because y is not expressed in terms of x therefore as y is expressed in terms of t we will find dy by dt as x is expressed in terms of t we will find dx by dt therefore dy, dy by dx is dy by dt upon dx by dt suppose they are expressed in terms of theta dy by d theta by dx by d theta let us go to looking problems now if x and y are connected parametrically by the given equations without eliminating the parameter find dy by dx is equal to x is equal to 280 square y is equal to 80 power 4 you should not eliminate it all of you know how to eliminate using these two equations you can get the value of t also well very simple you have been given x is equal to 280 square and y is equal to 80 power 4 first let us find what is dy by dx it's dy by dt upon dx by dt take y is equal to 80 power 4 very simple differentiation dy by dt is 480 cube and x is 280 square differentiation with respect to t is 480 divide them dy by dt by dx by dt is 480 cube by 480 therefore the answer is t square let us move on to the next question here you have been asked to prove something whenever something is asked to prove you have to do simplification x is given in terms of theta y is also given in terms of theta Therefore, I have to find dy by dx. It is dy by d theta upon dx by t theta. I have been given y. Let us differentiate it with respect to theta. First differentiation, 2 into cos theta. Differentiation of sin 2 theta is cos 2 theta into differentiation of 2 theta using chain rule. Where it will become 
2 cos theta minus 2 cos 2 theta. Let us take x. When you differentiate x with respect to theta, it is 2 into differentiation of cos theta is minus sin. Differentiation of cos 2 theta is minus sin 2 theta into differentiation of 2 theta with respect to theta using chain root. Therefore, you get that uh, minus 2 sin theta plus 2 sin 2 theta. Let us take these two differentiations. Let us continue. dy by d theta and dx by d theta is known to be. I am putting it in the formula for dy by dx and uh, 2 is getting cancelled. You will get cos theta minus cos 2 theta by sin 2 theta minus sin theta. In uh, 11th standard already you have seen the formula of expressing difference as product. This is the formula number 1. Cos x minus cos y. It is 2 sin x plus y by 2 sin y minus x by 2. Some book will write it as minus 2 sin x plus y by 2 sin x minus y by 2 also. And sin x minus sin y is 2 cos x plus y by 2 and sin x minus y by 2. Let us apply these two formula over here. The numerator will become 2 sin x plus y by 2. Therefore, theta plus 2 theta by 2. Y minus x by 2. Therefore, 2 theta minus theta by 2 of sin. Similarly, denominator 2 cos 2 theta plus theta by 2 into sin 2 theta minus theta by 2. Now, which you will get cancelled now? Sin theta by 2 will get cancelled. You will get sin 3 theta by 2 upon cos 3 theta by 2, which is nothing but tan 3 theta by 2. Therefore, we have proved dy by dx in terms of theta. Move on to the question number 3. Here x is given as square root of a sin inverse a power sin inverse t and y is square root of a power cos inverse t. You have to prove dy by dx in terms is as y by x. Here you see the previous problem dy by dx was expressed in terms of theta. But here you can express dy by dx in terms of x and y also. Let us see. Let us take x and y now. dy by dx is you have to differentiate y with respect to t and differentiate x with respect to t and then divide. Let us go to the uh, first one. And you have been given y as uh, dy by uh, square root of a into cos inverse t. Therefore, square root of something is 1 by 2 into square root of a into cos inverse t into d by dx of a into cos a power cos inverse t. Therefore, 1 by 2 into a square root of a power cos inverse t. What is the differentiation of a power something? It is a power cos inverse t into log a. Once again, differentiation of cos inverse t. What is the differentiation of cos inverse t? It is minus 1 upon square root of 1 minus t square. Do it very carefully. This is a function where you got to use the chain rule two times. Therefore, I got dy by dx as like this. Now, I want to uh, write it in a proper manner. Therefore, it is minus of square root of a power cos inverse t upon 2 into log a into 1 upon root 1 minus x square. Now, y is nothing but square root of a into cos inverse t given. Therefore, I am replacing that square root of a power cos inverse t as y where it is y log a by 2 into square root of 1 minus t square. Let us keep it ready. Let us go back uh, to get the value of x. x is square root of a power sin inverse t. Using the same chain rule, we have to differentiate. 1 upon square root of something, therefore 2 into that square root into d by dt of the term inside the square root. What is the differentiation of a power sin inverse t? It is a power sin inverse t into log a into differentiation of sin inverse t. What is the differentiation of sin inverse t? It is 1 upon root 1 minus t square. Now I can replace the square root of a power sin inverse t as x. Therefore, when I replace it, it will become x upon 2 into square root of 1 minus t square into log a. However, I have got uh, dx by dt and dy by dt ready with me now. This is dy by dt and this is dx by dt. dy by dx is dy by dt upon dx by dt. I am uh, dividing them uh, for 2 into square root of 1 minus t square getting cancelled. Log a getting cancelled. You are getting it as minus y by x. Here you should be very careful while you are doing the differentiation. You have to use the chain rule. Well, let us go to the next question. Like these questions also will come. They will ask you to find the differentiation. That is dy by dx. They will ask you to find the value of the derivative at a value of a parameter. Here you have been asked to find dy by dx when theta is equal to pi by 3. As usual, let us start. x is given, y is given. dy by dx is, you have to differentiate y with respect to theta, x with respect to theta and divide. y is equal to a into 1 minus cos 2 theta. 
differentiation is a into differentiation of 1 is 0 cos 2 theta is using chain rule minus sin 2 theta into differentiation of 2 theta therefore the answer is 2a sin 2 theta I will keep it ready similarly x is equal to a into 2 theta minus sin 2 theta differentiate differentiation of 2 theta 2 differentiation of sin 2 theta is cos 2 theta into differentiation of 2 theta using chain rule therefore you will get a into 2 minus 2 cos 2 theta we got dy by d theta and dx by d theta already let us divide them to get dy by dx and uh, I am taking in the denominator 2 outside 2a into 1 minus cos 2 theta therefore it is 2 sin theta cos theta by 2 into sin square theta because 1 minus cos theta is 2 sin square theta <coughs> sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta now when you cancel them you will get cos theta by sin theta therefore you are getting it as cot theta here first I am cancelling 2 then I am replacing 1 minus cos 2 theta by 2 sin square theta and sin 2 theta by 2 sin theta cos theta well now we have to find dy by dx at theta is equal to pi by 3 for what is cot pi by 3 tan pi by 3 is uh, you know the value therefore cot pi by 3 is 1 by root 3 1 by tan pi by 3 therefore it is 1 by root Let us move on to question number 5. Find dy by dx of the function expressed in parametric form sin x equal 2t by 1 plus t square and tan y is 2t upon 1 minus t square. Uh, same way dy by dx is uh, dy by dt upon dx by dt. Now you, if when I take a tan y is equal to 2t, 2t upon 1 minus t square, I can do the differentiation directly left hand side tan y differentiation right hand side using uvb form. But when I replace it by y is equal to tan inverse of 2t by 1 minus t square the problem will become simple because the 2t upon 1 minus t square looks like the formula for tan 2 theta therefore let us replace uh, t is equal to tan theta and uh, keep it ready for resubstitution theta tan inverse t therefore y is equal to tan inverse of 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square this is a formula multiple angle formula for tan 2 theta for tan inverse of tan 2 theta what is it it is 2 theta therefore y is equal to 2 times tan inverse t our differentiation is 2 multiplied by 1 upon 1 plus t square by substitution we have simplified the problem again we will move on to sin x it is a 2t upon 1 plus t square and once again x is sin inverse 2t upon 1 plus t square looks like the formula for sin 2 theta same substitution t is tan theta and theta is tan inverse t x is sin inverse of 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square which is nothing but sin inverse of sin 2 theta which is 2 theta do the resubstitution x is 2 tan inverse t therefore dx by dt is 2 upon 1 plus t square now go back to that formula for dy by dx it is uh, d, dy by dt upon dx by dt therefore 2 upon 1 plus t square upon 2 upon 1 plus t square the answer is 1 dy by dx is a constant thank you friends uh, success is dependent on efforts all the best